Cruz here. Welcome back to the next episode in uh, TTK Making Music with Peter J. Cruz. Uh, just to kind of reorient you guys on what we're doing, uh, the Tone King and I are working on a project long distance, uh, working in Sonar X3, and we're change, exchanging the files via Gobbler over the internet. So it's a secure system, blah, blah, blah. And basically now in Sonar X3, it's just a simple click and off it goes. So um, makes it real, you know, takes a lot of the headaches out of the whole manipulation of files and that sort of thing. But anyway, uh, the Tone King has some riffs and ideas that he wants to kind of throw into a song um, and wanted me to help him with it. So here we are and we thought we'd roll camera and have you guys check it out all the way on through. So now that, now that I've reestablished what we're doing, um, where we are at is this. He had already laid down his, his uh, scratch rhythm tracks because he still doesn't exactly, he, at that point, he wasn't sure what he wanted for a song, didn't really have any ideas specifically, he had a lot of riffs and licks, but didn't really have a song per se. So we went ahead and I, sent it, I created the project in the first video, sent him the project in Sonar through Gobbler, and uh, Tone King then loaded the project up on his computer, uh, armed his tracks, hit the record button, jammed out his takes, uh, and they were rough. I mean, again, they're just scratch tracks. We're just trying to get some ideas going and some flowing and stuff. And he went ahead and saved the project, sent it back to me. Um, and this is where it gets really funny, okay? Uh, I went ahead and actually rolled the camera and actually opened the project. Uh, and you're not going to see that because of what I'm going to tell you. Um, so he sent me the project. Uh, I went ahead and opened the files, rolled camera, opened the files, and started doing my stuff and talked about what I was planning to do and what ideas I had. And I saved it, sent it back to him via Gobbler. Um, before I got a chance to edit the video together to create the next video for YouTube, he loved it so much, he wanted me to backtrack and just show every step that I've done, because I kind of left a lot of those parts out because it involved a lot of editing and stuff like that. But he wanted me to show you guys exactly what I did. Uh, and then I went ahead and actually uh, threw him up a little mock, you know, verse, bridge, chorus, blah, 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 whatever, from what, he had, what I had done, and he thought it was fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all to you. I still have the project where it was, so I'm going to do a little bit of backtracking, uh, and I'll kind of redo some of the things that I did just to show you the process. Uh, and uh, while I'm working in Sonar X3, if you're using, you know, uh, Pro Tools or, you know, Cubase or, or uh, Studio One or uh, Logic, whatever, um, I'm sure there'll be similar methodologies for whatever I'm about to do. So let's go ahead and jump into the software and check it out. Hey guys, um, now we're uh, inside of Sonar X3 and I wanted to go ahead and uh, kind of bring up the speed where we're at. Okay, so first thing that I'm going to need to do uh, now that I've got the project from uh, the Tone King is I need to listen to what he's done. So uh, let's go ahead and just kind of shoot this over to the beginning of the, of the project and hit play. So that was his first take. Um, 
And I'm only listening to one of the tracks. I don't, I'm not running both tracks on uh, that he recorded. He recorded two tracks at the same time. I'm just listening to through one uh, for system resources reasons, I guess, or whichever. Um, the the take itself was was okay. Uh, definitely uh, didn't have uh, some of that oomph and that 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 get up and go. I guess you're looking for like in a nice chunky track like this. So. Um, I think he ended up redoing it, and so let me kind of jump the timeline over here to where he recorded the second track. Although typically, Tone King, we would just put it on another track, no big deal. Um, but here we go. So this is the second take that he did. My drummer stopped playing, maybe went for a coffee break or something. Let me just kind of add a little bit extra MIDI over here. Let me shrink this back down. Let's try this again. Well, that first part there was kind of a, uh, I guess he had an error in his in, in his first, his second take. So let's listen to the third take. Definitely something stronger. take was much better had a lot more attitude to it was definitely locked into the groove really tight and I didn't really hear any mistakes to speak of now of course this is still uh, we're still forming the song um, and I mean this isn't the keeper track by any means this is more we're kind of playing around with the uh, song structure still and everything else so um, so even if it had like a slight mistake or two it would probably be okay just enough for us to get an idea of what we want to do with the song Okay, so now what I've essentially done is I decided, okay, this last take over here is the one we're going to want. So let me go ahead and click this one here, and I'm going to mute those so they don't, I don't accidentally mess with these at all. And I'll do the same to this one over here too. Just kind of get them out of my hair. Um, and then we'll go here. <laughs> Let me zoom in a little bit so we can get a better look at the tracks, the, the, the riffs themselves. And you'll notice I've got a grid here, like, you know, uh, for each measure. 35, 36, 37, 38. And these are going, of course, you know, in time with the drummer and the metronome that I've got playing. So let's start off here on, I guess, measure 35. So the riff actually starts here on 36. So you'll notice I actually split his audio right here. So let me get these out of the way. So now those won't actually play. So this section right here, and I've already I've already split it right here on this uh, beginning of measure 40. So this one riff here actually has its own thing going on. Okay, uh, it's one it's one particular riff, 
And then this middle one here, that's actually that little So this here is actually another riff, and of course I lined it up with the with the timeline, so I was able to split it right on the measure to make the the cuts nice and even. Uh, now we go to this next one here, and, and we have that riff again. So again, that that's another unit that. You know we can make something with, and then you got your I guess your core section or whichever. So that whole section there is all this right of here, and of course I split it also. Um, now what I've what I've done uh, to help kind of put together the song is um, I split all I split the his take into the component riffs and ideas uh, and of course uh, being all in time made a huge difference because I was able to lock it down to the, to the exact measure um, and once I've done that you can once you have everything split you've got individual riffs and licks or whatever here that we can play with now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new track and I'm going to take, uh, let's see, let me take this first one. Let me just copy and paste it. I'll just put it right here. I'll put it here at the beginning. Okay, so now if we listen back to this track, let me. So that's that one clip from that whole take that I just took out just for that one riff. Uh, now what I could do is, well, let's move this over a teeny bit. Okay, let's move it to measure two. And it goes up from like measure two to measure six. So it's a four measure riff, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click it. And this is where things get real interesting. Get This is where I could probably lose some people. Um, I'm actually going to, uh, no, hold on, my headphones are in the way. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take, double click the riff itself. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, the video project actually comes in at like over 25 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video into bite-sized portions. So that's why the video kind of ended abruptly and I threw this little message on at the end. This is going to be the post-edit. Um, so anyway, so stay tuned. I'm gonna I'm gonna upload them in, in pretty much rapid succession. So if you subscribe, you'll be able to just catch the next one right in line and probably upload within the next day or so. So anyway, sorry for the cutting it up, but I mean I don't want anyone to have to sit there and like bored to tears, you know, be bored to tears, bored to tears for like 30 minutes or whatever. So anyway, thanks guys, rock on, and we'll catch you in the next video.